guys, how you doing? This is Mr. Tyrebox123 and in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the differences between the Android notification system on this Samsung Galaxy S2 running 2.3 and also the new notification system from Apple on this iPhone 3GS running iOS version 5 beta 1. So for a long time now notifications have been one of Apple's biggest bugbears in the iPhone and iOS world in general both on the iPad, the iPhone and also the iPod Touch and what iOS 5 does is it really addresses that problem and really does go a long way into completely solving the notification problem on all iOS devices. So what I would like to do is just look at the notifications on Android 2.3 and then look at the notifications on iOS 5 just so we can see how they differentiate from one another. Obviously there's been a lot of conversation and dialogue about the fact that Apple have completely ripped off Android system and completely copied it and you know in some perspectives that's semi true in others they've really gone quite a bit further than that and just taken notifications to a new level. And in fact, my opinion is that really the notification system has come mainly from the jailbreak scene where we've had these kind of notifications for a very, very long time. And the very fact that they employed someone from the jailbreak scene to work on this kind of tells you the same sort of story. But what I'd like to do is just look at how they both differ, look at how they're similar, and then everyone can go away, make their own opinion, and then write some comments below on what you think is the similarities, the differentiators, and also whether or not Apple did rip off Android or even rip off the jailbreak scene by bringing out these kind of notifications. So let's start off taking a look at the notifications on this Samsung Galaxy S2 here running Android 2.3. So first of all in terms of notifications what we've got here at the top is a complete list on the lock screen of all of the notifications that we're waiting to get a response from. So we've got email, we've also got Twitter, messages and mentions, and then we've got another email, and then we've also got downloads. So that's the kind of notifications that you get on the lock screen. Now I know with certain applications I think you can improve this and, and have more detail on the actual lock screen itself. And if you guys have got any feedback on that, please do say in the comments. So once we've got into the actual home screen itself, what we need to do then to get to our notifications is simply slide down the notification bar, very similar to the one that Apple have now brought out afterwards, and then we get all of the notifications which we can then access. Now we don't actually get a breakdown of what those notifications are, it literally just tells us that we've got an update available in the download, the text message gives us a preview, I've got 43 new messages in my Twitter, I've got 100 unread messages in my email account and then I've got 8 new mentions on Twitter. Now I haven't actually got anywhere near that number but that was the last time I obviously checked my notifications on this particular handset. So <clears throat> also in the notification bar we've also got some sort of quick spot settings here that we can change just by the touch of a button and we can also clear the whole lot all in one go. If we were to actually click on one it takes us directly to that and then we will actually see the updates that are available to us. So in this case, it's actually the Twitter application itself. At any point, whilst you're using the phone, you can simply drag down the notification bar and it will take you back to the notifications which you've... That is essentially a breakdown of the notification system on this Samsung Galaxy S2 running Android 2.3. It's very simple. I guess if I was being devil's advocate I would say that it doesn't give you a granular breakdown of each individual message or notification but then that could be looked at as a good thing because if you're getting hundreds of emails and tweets every day maybe you don't necessarily want to see every single one with some kind of small summary of each and every one of those because it would become a bit overwhelming. Also there doesn't really seem to be any lock screen notifications in terms of that kind of summary basis as well it's just literally this very small individual breakdown at the top here that tells you what those notifications are. Okay so let's move over now and have a look at the notifications on this iOS 5 beta 1 running on this iPhone 3GS. Now straight away here on the lock screen itself you can see that I've got a range of invitations and meeting appointments and emails and tweets. Now on this notification lock screen you can actually pick up 
on any one of these notifications like I've got here and just simply slide that over to actually read that individual message and that will take you directly to that message or item within the application that's responsible for it without you actually having to navigate to it. So if I take this email for example and just slide that across, that's going to take us directly to that individual message. Now let's just take a look at the notification center because that's the bit that's very similar to the one that's been on Android for some time. So again, all you do is just slide down from the top and that's actually gonna bring you down a complete list of your notifications. But whereas on the Android notification system, we just had a summary of how many messages for each thing, we've in the iOS notification system, we've got the actual individual breakdown and we can click on each one individually and that will actually take us directly to that specific item inside its own application. We've also got a couple of widgets in here. Now at the moment this is restricted to just these widgets but I imagine in the final release Apple are going to open this up to a whole load of other widgets. We can also delete individual notifications but I haven't actually managed to find a way of removing every single notification which would be a nice little extra. So that's the notification center in iOS 5. Now let's just take a look at some of the settings that we can actually do within the notifications on iOS 5. Yeah. So first of all we've got the ability to sort the items either manually or via time. So that's the first option we've got. Now for each application that supports notifications we can actually customize the kind of notification that we're going to get from that specific app in this configuration screen here. So we can either add or remove it from the notifications and in fact here you can see that I've just got a new notification right up here at the top that's flashed up and I can actually click on that and that would again take me to the application. But anyway carrying on so we can show the most recent items, we can configure the number of most recent items and we can also decide whether or not we want to view that in the lock screen. Now further configuration we can actually configure the kind of alert style itself so we can have no alert we can have the banner alert which we just saw there which comes up at the top of the screen or we can actually have the old sort of style alert where you get like a little blue screen pop up and then that's your alert there and you can configure that completely individually per application and you can also go down and configure the stock widget and the weather widget and I imagine those are going to be added to quite soon. That's the notifications for iOS 5. We've already seen the notifications for Android 2.3 be really interested to hear your feedback on the differences between the two, which one you prefer, which one you don't like, your opinion on the whole sort of copy gate thing with iOS 5 copying both the jailbreak scene and the notification scene from, sorry, and the notification center from the Android operating system. So just leave a load of comments below there. So thanks to everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next one.